find the oscillation in it, find the time period of oscillation of the system. <laughs> Again, the let the elongation of this spring. Okay, we'll proceed like this. Let the displacement of block be x. Elongation of this spring be x one. Let this be x two. Let this be x three. Uh, or I'll write it two k. It will be convenient. We'll stick on to this one, and and this pulley is lighter. So first equation, what you can write, x is equal to. Ah, uh, constant equation. Uh, first, what is? Uh, I I want you to realize that one. Assume that th these two springs are not there. Then the displacement of elongation of this spring should be called displacement of block. Assume that these two springs are not there. Then elongation of this spring should be called displacement of this block. X equal to x two. Assume that these two springs are not there. If this point moves by one meter, this will move by two meters. So therefore, keep it here. Now, how much of spring force will act here? Dk x three. Then how much here? The the spring force acting will be two k x two here k x one. This much is what we have. Okay, what all what all equations? So on pulley, we'll we'll take here on pulley, on light pulley. Net force on light pulley should be zero. Okay, based on that, so I can write one equation: three k x three is equal to two k x two plus k x one. So three x three equal to two x two plus x one. Call this equation two. Now look at the springs. Springs k and two k are in series. As they are in series, what happens? The spring force should be equal to k x two is equal to k x one. So therefore, two x two is equal to x one. Okay, I think we have enough equations. So then, energy equation. M V square by two K X one square by two. Solving X one X two X three in terms of this, then differentiating equate to zero will get the time period. I do have answer. Check it later on, huh? Uh, now uh, I'll ask you one question. I want to replace these two springs by an equivalent spring, so that the block will have same time period. <laughs> What should be k effective? Why all this? Let me replace with one equivalent. So what is that k effective? So that this block and this block should have same time period. So they may ask you questions of like this. So nothing but is the the end after getting the end formula. So what is the k effective? K effective will be six k by seventeen. They are not series, not parallel. How to find out them by using this method? Series parallel, we know how to do this one. If they are not series, not parallel, so this is the effective method. So they may test you questions like this. Find the effective spring constant of the system. Nothing but what happened? Find out the time period. 
then replace all the springs by one equivalent spring. If the, both the blocks are having same time period, okay, there's an effective spring constant. Hmm? Effective spring constant, students will try to think series parallel, no, nothing, no way. You should think in this way only. Taking help of SHM, you should derive. Uh, getting this, I think it's a small basics, no, nothing to do with SHM chapter. <laughs>